Hello internet world and welcome to this week's Geek Week review. These are the videos where I talk to you about what happened last week on the Geek and Noise channel, what's coming up this week, and also what captured my attention in the technology world. And I've got quite a few bits that actually caught my attention. The first one is from Microsoft. They actually announced the Microsoft Surface 3 tablet. Not Surface Pro 3, but Surface 3, so a slightly smaller screen, 10.8 inches, slightly less power than the Pro 3 with an Intel Atom quad-core processor, but it starts at just £419. I think that's an absolutely fantastic price point for the 64 gigabyte model. It's starting to ship in May, and it's a real contender for challenging people who are considering an iPad Air and maybe want something that they can do a bit more productivity on or if indeed they prefer the Windows platform. I'm gonna certainly try and get one into the Geekanoid studio to take a look at, because it looks like a very nice device. Still good battery life as well. I think they're quoting 10 hours of video playback time. Now the other thing that caught my attention was three announcements from Google, but not from Google itself, rather Google Chrome OS products. And the first two were from Asus, the Chromebook Flip, so we finally got a laptop running Google Chrome OS that transforms into sort of like a tent mode. Yeah, we've got a Chromebook that goes into tent mode and I think it's got a touch screen as well. So I've never really got into the Chrome OS. We have got one in Geek Noise HQ. In fact, it's my wife's Chromebook and it doesn't get a lot of use because it's very limited in what it can do. But still, for those of you who like the Chrome OS and want to come into the sort of mobile world of very low entry level point, and very low price point as well, then the ASUS Chromebook Flip could be for you. Now the second product, also announced by ASUS, is the Chrome Bit. Now at first, I thought this was an April Fool's joke. It's an HDMI dongle that turns any screen with an HDMI input into a Chromebook. And I'm thinking, well, a Chromebook should have a keyboard attached. So how are you gonna do that with a large screen television? But in fact, it is a real device and it does in fact add Chrome OS to any HDMI capable display. Very interesting and certainly it will be useful for some people. And then the last announcement came from Acer. Now we've previously seen a Chrome base all-in-one device from the company LG. Well Acer are taking things one step further and adding in a touchscreen. So a trio of really interesting devices running the Google Chrome operating system. So now let's take a look back at the highlight videos that I published to the Geek Noise channel last week. And the first one that was really interesting for me to actually publish was my rosacea video, where I showed you the uh, gel or cream being applied to my face and how it reduced the redness on my face. And I got a lot of people saying, well, this isn't technology. And yes, it isn't. It was one of my personal videos that I uploaded. But my viewpoint on it is if it helps one person discover this cream or gel and it works for them, then it was well worth publishing. And the other highlight video for me is the CalDigit T4. This is a four bay RAID storage system. And I tried a new presentation style with this. I have done similar before, but I basically recorded all the video footage separately and did, then did the voiceover afterwards. Uh, a more scripted type review. Uh, including benchmarks, and I'd really appreciate your feedback. I really would. So let me know what you thought of that CalDigit T4 video. Now coming up later today, the day that this was uploaded to my channel, I've got the Rode NTG4 Plus. It's an XLR microphone with a built-in rechargeable lithium battery. Do check that out coming out on the channel later today. And also coming up over this week, I've got a lot of great power products for your iPhone 6, so stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do. Please do hit that like button. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you all in the next one.